I think the best place to see this first artwork is from outside. So this is uh, Maria Barrio, who is the young Colombian artist. So uh, she's in her mid thirties, um, but she moved here, um, you know, quite a while ago uh, to study. Studied at the SVA and got her master's degree as well. Um, and I, I think she she had this um, uh, kind of serendipitous uh, roommate. She uh, shared a, a studio with somebody who um, kind of knew about Japanese paper, a, a Japanese student, I think. And uh, so she uh, discovered um, that as a medium to make her collage. So she's known, you know, as a collage artist. And this gallery actually used to be located on the second floor on 25th Street. And, um, you know, I don't know how much traffic they got. You know, it's definitely on the map, but they are the kind, this is their New York um, uh, location, uh, but they're based in uh, Buenos Aires. She is known for referencing um, uh, mythology, folklore from a variety of cultures, but also from uh, Latin American uh, folklore. And uh, so she continues to do that here. I remember in the last show, uh, she had this, um, this figure who uh, called Madre Monte, kind of like a mother nature, who had a jaguar, you know, around her. And it was uh, a really stunning kind of image, like most of the characters are female in her work. And, um, you know, kind of a celebrating a, a feminine power sometimes, but also uh, you'd see images relating to her moving to New York. So there's this kind of procession of, of people, you know, in the past and so forth. But here in this show, she's really kind of going down two avenues. She is making reference to um, uh, natural, the Natural uh, History Museum dioramas uptown. Um, so you go in there and you'll see a female character kind of holding hands, paws, whatever, with a bear. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, it, it looks like a diorama but with a person involved. But it also refers to a Norwegian folk tale in which uh, a father marries uh, his daughter off to a bear. Um, and which I think is like a metaphor for, you know, like a, an older, you know, potentially dangerous guy. And... Uh, uh, here, you know, you're not quite sure what's going on. You have, uh, again, like women in conjunction with, or girls in conjunction with nature. Um, you know, this, this woman is lounging, but what is she doing? Is she kind of helping these, these animals? Uh, you know, what's going on? Um, you also see the Nightingale series from here. These uh, young women, these girls uh, who have feathers. So they're almost like, you know, I mean, you see a figure with feathers, you think angels, or you think of some kind of celestial character. Um, but here they, you know, they're, they're humans as well. So she kind of merges this celestial and, and um, terrestrial realms. Um, so she's thinking about the natural history dioramas, but then also migration and movement. And she is uh, one of the artists that's involved in Prospect 4, a big exhibition that's gonna take place starting in November in New Orleans. Uh, after Katrina, they started this show, really kind of world-class. So she's gonna be out there and she's been thinking about uh, migration again and I think getting getting more into that topic but let's head on in and we'll keep talking yeah she had a piece in a group show on the Lower East Side this summer and they they I was in right after she was and she had come in to kind of glue some things down again <laughs> uh, but so you can see like at the base as well there's like a little you know she's not super precious about it you know right. so this one is titled of oh, the demiurge so this idea it kind of refers to a, a maker or a deity who doesn't know that they're created they kind of like <laughs> don't realize that uh, you know, the chain of command goes further up. <laughs> um, but here, you know, it seems like she's having her kind of um, communion with, uh, with nature. When people uh, looked at the faces when she, you know, first kind of started showing and thought of uh, Gustav Klimt or Byzantine mosaics uh, people have talked about as well, oh, yeah. so the whole mosaic idea. 
she, she actually referred to herself as having been caged, you know, when she was a kid. I think she didn't go out that much because of the kind of narco violence um, where, in Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Colombia, yeah. But then on the other hand, she later, oh, I was reading an interview and she mentioned that um, there was a, that her family had a farm as well. So I think she experienced the, the kind oh, of extremes yeah, yeah, yeah. of you know, cloistered urban life yeah. uh, for your own safety. And you yeah. uh, see her, she does have this sort of like fantastic way of dressing. Like she's really like, colorful and pattern oriented, you know, and <coughs> you know, stands out. So I don't know if that's a kind of nod to self portraiture. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I like that one too. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I love that uh, the kind of that way she updates the figure with the like um, patterns on the hands. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like these ones with the kind of um, the backgrounds that are more. Just muted. Yeah. 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 yeah.